This is the O Review Podcast. O Review. Hello again. I'm going to do another quick update. I have a larger video planned, um, as you may or may not know. I just came back from Oakley Day at Red Studios, got to meet Jim Znard and do a little trading, meet a few other people. It was a fun time. So I got some video from that. I'm going to post that soon. I uh, just have to kind of go through it, edit it, make it look nice, add some music so it's not quite so boring. But uh, it was a good time. Met a lot of nice people. Uh, a lot of people I had uh, met before. A few people I had talked to online for almost a decade, finally met. And a few people I hadn't met before at all who were very nice. Um, didn't do a whole lot of trading. Um, picked up a couple things. I traded... Uh, I traded something for a Persimmon 5, which is something I'd wanted for a while. I traded uh, a couple other random things. I got some some trinkets here and there. So uh, the main thing I did get was uh, the thing I'm doing for this video here. This is the offshoot, and specifically it's the Sean White edition. And I really loved it since I saw the first picture of it. Um, someone posted a, a promo picture, and it was really the only thing that struck or kind of caught my eye recently because... Uh, I haven't liked a whole lot that's coming out, but this one really, I don't know, it sort of, uh, you know, as I said, caught my eye. So, basically, the offshoot is a shield version of the big t which, like the Batwolf, was kind of makes you think, what were they thinking when they decided that name? But I do like the offshoot. It's um, basically, it's an offshoot of another model, because typically, a lot of times, we either get squared versions of an existing model, or a shield version of an existing model. So we have the oil drum, oil rig. You know, we have whisker, whisker squared. Uh, there's a lot of different variations like that. So they tend to take a model that sells well and then they just sort of change it up a bit. But in this case, um, it really works. I like the shield version of this. Specifically, I loved the 24K gold iridium lens. It's one of my favorite lenses. I first saw it on the pair of X-Metal double uh, X, XX, still trying to figure out what the proper terminology is there. But, um, you know, the 24K lens is just, uh, it, it's what gold iridium should have been and is now. The nicest thing about 24K is from the backside, it has a very deep orange tint. So it's very increased contrast. Um, so when you're looking through it, everything's warmed up. It makes everything look very nice. And it really looks nice from the outside too. So it kind of really serves two functions. Um, since it's the Sean White edition, comes with this uh, Sean White micro bag, which is a nice addition. Inside there's a poster, and it's him doing winter sports, but on the other side it also has him doing summer sports, because he does do actually a lot of skateboarding, even though he's more well known for his uh, winter activities. So, um, as far as fit goes, uh, when this first came out, people were like, they didn't like the name, they didn't like the look of it, but it fits really well. Um, it's almost like a thin monster dog that isn't as bulky, and if you like monster dog, then this is really going to be right up your alley. So I'll just put this on quick so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, it is huge, and if you like big lenses, which I do, uh, my last glasses I picked up before this were the Deviation, which were the huge wires, and of course I got them in Ruby, so they're massive. Um, but I like, you know, I like big things. Uh, I didn't used to. I, mean, I used to be a fan of like, you know, the T-wires or square wires, very small things, splice. But recently I've just liked this, the really huge flashy things. Uh, not only do they look good on, but I like how they look in the shelf too, because, you know, as it, you know, most of my collection is, you know, not worn. So I like to have things really stand out when they're in the case. So, um, in addition to the lens and icons, they also have these, uh, lugs on the side these accent bands, which are common amongst the many models nowadays. And they also have one on the end too, which is uh, kind of cool. On the inside, you have the name, Offshoot. And you also have a little bit of uh, detailing on the inner side of the ear stem. So basically it has Oakley and the classic logo, and a little bit more uh, detailing. It has Sean White's signature. And uh, the one downside, and I admit there is one, is that if you have long hair, as I do, it tends to get caught inside this band here. So when I took it off, it actually, I think I actually had to rip the hair out because I couldn't get it dislodged from this band here. Uh, it's kind of a minor flaw. It's really just a nitpick, really, but, you know, it's just something to you that I did find that is sort of a slightly, you know, is sort of a downside. 
Um, so really, uh, I do recommend it. Out of anything that's come out lately, this is really the only thing that I've wanted to pick up lately. So while I was down there, I was like, you know, I've got to come home with something. So I grabbed this guy. Really happy with it. Um, I'm going to wear it a bit, then probably retire it to the collection, just uh, like a lot of the pairs that I buy. Before I go, I do want to mention, if you haven't noticed already, I have redone the website. And based on online feedback and the people I talked to at Red, uh, everyone's liking it. So here's just kind of a quick example here. Um, I've completely redone everything. And by everything, I mean from scratch. I started with a blank slate. I didn't even copy the old code over. I just started from scratch, opened up Notepad, started typing, and this is kind of what I got. It's still a work in progress. Um, I didn't get it complete for Red Day, but I did complete a lot of the stuff after that. There's still a lot more I got to do. Um, ironically, the only thing, the major thing I haven't done yet are reviews, even on the old review. But... Uh, I got the collections up, I got the gallery up, I got the forum, I got the database. So I got a lot of the major things up. There's a few minor database things like the catalog areas, the lens options, minor things like that that I have to still get up. Um, but uh, the forum's really picked up, so I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, we had a sort of decline lately. Um, it was hard to get into. It wasn't mobile friendly. And speaking of mobile, I also spent some time and I completely redid the site in mobile too. So it's going to be a lot easier to use. So if you are a mobile only user and you didn't use the site because of that, and I don't blame you because I would suffer through it myself and I always thought I got to make it mobile but never got around to it, I finally did. And I was grocery shopping and I actually started checking out the site I'm like why didn't I do this sooner? Um, so I'm really happy with um, basically the way the site is on mobile. And it also fits really nice on an iPad as well as a desktop. So there's a lot of cool things you can do. I really would like you to check it out if possible. Um, I put a lot of work. I put about four or five months of solid work into it so far. I still have a lot more to go. But I would recommend you checking it out if you haven't already or if you're just an old user of the site and haven't seen it in a while. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff there. A lot of people are chatting. Forums booming. I'm happy. So... Uh, Pick these up, visit the site, and uh, everything's going to be good. So, I will check you all later. I'm going to work on that red video soon and hopefully get that up uh, very shortly. So, as always, take care. Thanks.